So I'm going to make a YouTube video on how to remove the radiator um, from a um, Peugeot 106 um, 1.1. This is the year 1996, 1998. Um, but yeah, the radiator is leaking, so it has to change. Anyway, um, so. It might be the best video, but there's no other videos online showing you how to do it, so I'll try to do as best as I can. <coughs> so, first thing, uh, clearly, it's going to have to come out. Um, I take the battery out first. Um, disconnect the battery before you do anything. Um, disconnect it, take it out. Um, and then the second thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take out this whole um, air vent. Uh, so, I'm going to disconnect it here. Disconnect it here. There's a bolt here. Just undo that um, and disconnect this cable here. Just it'll. There's a little, very. It's like a claw pin there. Just pull that pin back as far as you can, and it should just pop straight out. Um, so that's uh, step one. So when I when I have all this taken out, I'll uh, come back. Okay, so now you have the air intake um, disconnected. Um, the next thing I'm going to disconnect is the fan. Um, so these cables are just pushed up in like that. So all you have to do is just pull them out. There's probably two on it. Um, the pin, just pull it up. And it should just pop out. Um, and there's one bolt down here for the fan and um, I'm pretty sure the fan should just slide out then because I think it's just sitting <coughs> it's just sitting in there so um, yeah so disconnect your fan plug and this bolt here and if it gets if it's as straightforward as I think, um, I won't show any more of that. But if it's not, I will. If I get into difficulty taking out the fan or there's something I didn't explain, I'll come back to it. Um, yeah, so it was literally just as simple as disconnecting your clip. That one bolt that was over here, and after there was a heat guard here, uh, a metal heat guard that just that just pops that just pops out after you take that bolt out. So I'll take the bolt out, unclip it, and it will it will, will literally just pop. Um, yeah. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to drain the coolant. So there's a cap. Don't that's your that's your power steering fluid. Don't touch that. There's a cap here. It's under now. This cap here. Um, if you unscrew, don't maybe you can take it. I suppose you can take it out completely, but um, I leave it in a small bit. Um, I'll just show you. There's your coolant. You can see it. You press down that pipe. See how uh, the color of it. That's why the radiator is being changed. Uh, radiator is. Probably never been changed on the car before, so it's 25 years old. Um, so yeah, anyway, unscrew that as much as you can, and then drain it. So we're going to drain it from this pipe over here. Should get rid of uh, most of it, um, and then I'll be back and I'll show you what else to disconnect. Right, so it's. Um, the pipe is disconnected. Uh, just be mindful when you disconnect this pipe. There's an awful lot of coolant going to come from this pipe, but it's also going to come from this pipe. So um, just be wary of that. Make sure you have a big enough uh, container that it's, it's not going to go everywhere. Uh, because uh, it, uh, <laughs> I kind of made that mistake. Um, that clip was extremely hard to get off. Uh, but other than that, yeah. So the next thing I'm going to start doing is um, 
I'm going to disconnect this hose. There shouldn't be much coolant in that hose. And I'm going to get this. Uh, I'm going to see. I'm going to probably take that off while. It's, while uh, sorry, if I can focus it. That's the heat and te heat temperature gauge. So I'm going to take this clip off. Um, I will probably disconnect that clip. Uh, and try take that out first and then I will have to take out the, that the rest of that um, and put it into the new the new uh, radiator because the new radiator um, it gives you the place for that to go in but it doesn't actually give you um, the clip itself so yeah, when I have the clip removed and that second pipe removed, uh, I I will give you an update then. But uh, I think the radiator will just pop out at that stage. I can't see anything uh, actually mounting it in. Um, but yeah, I'll be back with an update. Yeah, so to that's removed um, not a whole lot of coolant came out of this pipe the clip here it sits in like underneath there but there is a space underneath see that uh, little small opening where you could stick a screwdriver and just it'll just pop it straight out um, yeah so next uh, I'm going to take the radiator out and if I have any Problems taking the radiator out. I'll, I'll be back. So I have actually noticed uh, two bolts. So there's one here, and the other one I can see is just on the front. If you just there's a little guard up over it. You just pop the guard. I think that's the second one. And so far, that's all I can see. I can't see any underneath. So yeah, just let you know. Okay, yeah, so there's just one bolt here that you have to remove. It's a uh, is there. This is the bolt. This is the bolt. Um, and then there's a, there's, a, there's a nut where I showed you originally. Let's have to get this to focus. Uh, a bracket sits in like that. So there's a nut there, and there's actually a bolt in here just down there so yeah you'll have to you'll get a spanner and a socket no problem there. Um, but yeah that's that's that so when you do that might need a bit of a wiggle but there's nothing actually else connecting uh, your radiator in I'm trying to get this out as best I can but it will uh, fucking wasps it will literally at that point just pull straight out and that's what you're left with. That's what you're left with. Um, also, I noticed that the cap, as you can see there, the cap wasn't sealing on the radiator. So I had to seal it, but it fucking, the, the cap itself is actually, is actually warm. So I'm going to have to pick up the cap tomorrow. But uh, anyway, so that's, I will go through the next, I will go through putting that uh, temperature gauge thing in and see what way that goes. Yeah, so uh, you literally unscrew um, this from your old uh, radio and put, um, take that out, take that one off your old one. Unless yours comes with one, but if not, just reuse it. Um, uh, make sure you keep an eye on this bracket. This bracket was the one that we took out from uh, here. So that will come loose, so obviously keep an eye on it. As this will have to go into your new radiator as well. Um, other than that, yeah, everything else is pretty straightforward. So I'll try to take... Um, a video of putting everything back together. Uh, one thing I did notice was the fucking um, 
It's actually the wrong cap, so I'm gonna have to pick one up. I think they already said that. Anyway, um, I just noticed there's a seal in this, so I don't think I don't think it was sealed in. No, I don't think it was sealed in. I guess just on it, but um, yeah, so I won't worry about it. It's metal to metal pretty much, so yeah. Okay, so I have everything back this, uh, put back together pretty much. Um, it, it really is straightforward, it's just you look back on the video. Um, but you know, the radiator is going in first, the two bolts, this bolt it back in, and the other bolt down there. Um, once you have that in, put your hot plate on, that plate there, put that on, and the fan, the fan will clip in where you pulled it out, it'll just click in, line it up there with that um, bolt, put that bolt in, that bolt will hold the hot plate in, um, then you can do it before or after, you can reconnect that, your fan, or your temperature gauge for your radiator literally just clicks back in uh, now advice is I would recommend taking these clips off um, and replacing them as you can see down there I replaced it with uh, just like a little clip um, one of these because they are them old clips these ones here they are just some absolute pain to uh, try to get out on and off. So just save yourself that hassle in the future. Take them off now and just replace them. It's use them if you want. It reuse them, but I, I'm gonna I'm gonna replace all of them. But uh, yeah, as soon as I get it filled up, then and stuff. Uh, but yeah, pretty much safe forward. If you need to look back on stuff, you'll go get it in the video. But um, this is my first time doing one and. Uh, it was no problem whatsoever. It, um, once they got it apart, they went back together, no problem. So, best of luck uh, if you have any questions, I'll do my best to uh, answer. Uh, one in part, when you're finished, everything's back together. I took off all those clips, new clips, all that. To make sure that the, it doesn't uh, get air clogged, okay? There's three bleeding points <coughs> which you want to maybe. I've already put coolant in. The bottle is full at the minute, um, but I just show you this. This is one bleeding point, okay? So do them one by there's three bleeding points, do one after another. This one, um, I would fuck it, just had the engine running. Um, engine's hot, don't have the engine hot, keep it cold. I have it hot at the minute just because uh, I forgot to bleed it, and about <coughs> two minutes after I was running the engine. Um, the engine management light come on, uh, the heat, engine heat, can, like, anyway, look, anyway, it doesn't matter. Have the engine cold, don't do, but just when you're finished putting everything back together, one bleed point. That just completely unscrews, so unscrew it, uh, get a bottle that can somewhat seal it, keep pushing the water through. Sorry, I've been falling, sorry. Just keep pushing the water through the bottle. You'll see it come out through this point, uh, the bleed point. So once it's once the water's coming out, try to keep it in. Uh, just tighten up the bleed point. Um, the second bleed point is over here. See that little bolt there? That's the second bleed point. Um, so once you've done that one, come over, do this one. So do the same thing until the water, the coolant starts coming out. Um, and then tighten that back up. Your last bleed point then is the, the cap on the radiator. So only you would not you don't need to take it out. Just just unscrew it that it's loose. Do the same thing. Once all that's done, then get your um, coolant level right. So either you can probably let bleed out through the tip of the radiator, the last bleed point uh, to get your level correct. Um, or just s suction it out with a bit of a hose or something. But I thought that's always important to tell because if not, uh, you could uh, airlock the cooling system. So it, it won't be, the air won't be circulating whatsoever. Or the coolant won't be circulating in the engine. 
so you're it's going to overheat um so yeah make sure you do uh the three three bleed points